Meanwhile, Diane, we are gearing up for some strong storms tonight. What threats will these storms bring? Our biggest threat is going to be winds. Thankfully, we're not going to be looking at hurricane winds like we saw, but with our first alert day today, we're going to be keeping an eye on radar later on this evening. The timing of these storms is going to be after 7 o'clock tonight. So as you're wrapping up dinner, you're going to notice those ominous clouds starting to roll in. Our biggest threats is going to be those wind gusts. We could see them towards 60 miles per hour later on this evening and even some small hail, but I think that's going to be a lower end threat for us. And of course, by definition of thunderstorm has lightning within it. So when these storms do roll in, make sure you head inside and seek shelter, even though it is a nice summer day early on. Now the bullseye of severe weather is going to include southeast Michigan and a good chunk of northwest Ohio, though we do have the majority of Michigan that is under that severe weather threat. We still need to be weather aware tonight because still a few strong thunderstorms are going to be possible later on this evening to time them out for you. We're going to be seeing them after that rush hour commute. So this afternoon we're going to be in good shape. You'll notice that there's a pretty strong breeze out of the out of the southwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour. So it'll feel warm bringing in that warmer air. But then here comes the cold front that's going to be moving into southeast Michigan. You can see the clock stop at 8 p.m. That's when we're going to see that first round of, the, of that line moving through. Then it will slowly be moving through hour by hour. So 8, 9, even 10 o'clock as that front starts to pass, that line will follow along with it. But you can see the density of the yellows, the reds, the oranges. That that does start to fall apart. So as we head into the evening, lose some of that daytime heat and we have that rain to kind of cool us out a little bit, then you'll notice that the strength of these storms do start to weaken. But still make sure you're weather aware till about midnight tonight as we could see some down tree limbs. And also you're just going to want to secure any of that loose patio furniture once these gusty winds do blow through. A few lingering showers could wake us up on Wednesday morning, but as far as a severe weather threat, that's just for tonight. Now, of course, I want to make sure that you're prepared for the weather by downloading the first alert weather app. You can have the lightning tracker by using the radar tab. And if we do have strong storms, watches and warnings can come through as alerts right on your phone. Our temperatures this afternoon are warming up nicely to support these summer thunderstorms. We're currently sitting into the mid 80s and highs are going to be heading towards 90 degrees as we wait for the thunderstorms later on tonight. Lows fairly mild around 63 degrees, but much of that rainfall going to be ahead of midnight tonight. With the first alert weather day today, we will be keeping an eye on Wednesday morning rainfall. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s, but we have a warm up by the weekend. 87 going to be a common number. Dry weather until early next week. We need to keep an eye on a few more chances of some rain and temperatures becoming more September like.